I've been using Reddit for a very long time to follow things that I'm nerd about, but I'm also subscribed to subreddits like programming, Shopify, and school-related subreddits. And for the most part, I always see this post about people quitting or losing interest in programming for, of course, many different reasons. You see, I've been coding for like 10 years or so, and even so, I still enjoy programming. So this time we're going to talk about UV unwrapping and texturing um, models and of course export it here in Now before I get to the point of how I managed to reach 15 years of programming or this milestone, let me just share why I think people have problems maintaining this passion for programming. Now I don't want to generalize everything obviously people have different reasons why they they want to quit or they lose passion for programming so if you are not in the list then maybe share it in the comments below number one is the difficulty of getting your very first job if you're just starting and you don't have work experience you're very likely to be rejected by employers don't worry i've been there i've experienced it myself it's the phase that is very difficult to go through. I've heard many stories about this, that there are many programmers who have struggled finding their first job for more than two years and they can't get in because of lack of experience. Now, the main reason why it is very difficult to land a first job and that is because of the competition. If you're applying for even just an entry-level position, you are competing against experienced programmers like junior developers or even senior developers and obviously employers would prefer those people you see my problem with this first point is that it has become very well known not only it is very difficult to land your first job but it's also a very fragile career especially in america you know the layoffs Google today joined a growing list of tech giants scaling back, adding to the tens of thousands of workers in the industry who find themselves unemployed. And now many people would hear the stories and it discourages them to continue and learn programming. Like why would I even learn how to code if there is no guarantee that I'll get a job? Next, number two is expectation versus reality. You see, many of us have heard this story or this cliche that programmers and their salaries can go up to hundreds and thousands of dollars. Yes, it is not a false statement. It is somehow true, but I don't know. For me, it is a misleading statement, a bait perhaps. New programmers would expect that their first job would give them 100k salary, but in reality, you're most likely to get 20k or even less depending on which country you're in. Yes, I mean, it's not impossible. In my experience, my first job, I earned like $250 per month. So just, just compute that times 12. You see, it's even less 20K. So with that, many people would just quit because of that expectation. The expectation has been broken. And now my last point, number three is programming is freaking boring. Yes, you heard me right, ladies and gentlemen, programming is a boring activity where you just sit down and think logically. If you're someone who likes physical activities, best believe this is not for you because you'll be sitting for more than eight hours, yes. I know some people would just, oh, I've been working for just eight hours, but it can go up to 10 hours or even 12 hours because, yeah, it can go up there. I mean, it's not fair if I say it that way, if I say it myself that way, because I genuinely like programming. I enjoy it myself, but at the same time, it's kind of boring and frustrating sometimes. I think this is one of the reasons why many companies have implemented gym which I have not experienced yet. So yeah, if you're in that situation where you have your own gym, why not just accept that? And now as someone who's navigated the coding landscape for more than 10 years with little breaks here and there, let me just shed light on how I maintained that passion towards programming. And that is continuous learning. Now, I don't want to be that person who would say, just keep 
learning new things, learn new programming languages. I'm not gonna be that kind of person. Of course, for some people that can work, they'll keep you engaged by learning new programming languages and AI or new frameworks. They'll keep you engaged, they'll motivate you. But personally, I don't think that's a good way to maintain your passion. Basically, just keeping yourself in this cage where all you have in your life is programming. And to me, that is not good. When I said constant learning or continuous learning, what I meant is you should learn new things outside of programming, which reminds me of that one video or podcast with Joe Rogan and Kevin Hart. There is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. I personally don't want to lose all that I've been able to get, so I can't be content. Why can't I create? Why can't I start? Let me be a spark to show how much, how many different, you don't have to do just one thing. That being said, find a hobby, find something else that'll make you happy, that just programming. You know what they say, touch grass. In my case, I try to do multiple things. At the moment, I'm a front-end developer, but outside of it, I am learning music. I'm learning movie production. I try to learn other things, and I think that's a good way to make your life balanced. I know it's not easy and only a number of people could do this or achieve this, but I can say that it's very good for someone's mind to have not just one thing, but also have other things that'll keep them engaged and, you know, change things up. So that being said, if you really want to quit, quit for a reason that makes sense. Will it make you happy if you quit? Will it give you peace of mind if you quit? If the answer is yes, then I guess that's a good reason. <laughs>